everyone I hope everybody's doing well well today is December 7th it's Sunday December 7th 2019 and I'm here to do a Christmas look for you guys I have my emerald green and gold necklace uh, my bracelet has green my earrings and I was sort of inspired to do this look because I was pulling out um, some palettes a couple of weeks ago and I forgot I had this one. So this is the Cargo Cosmetics palette. This is Emerald City. And look at how pretty that is. Very festive. So let me show you the colors. I don't think... I'm not sure this one I have swatched or maybe I've used but I don't think I've ever used this palette. I don't think so. I'm not sure. But all the palettes look, I mean, all the colors look pretty much intact except for the two greens. Miss Reiner and Fremont. These two. So, anyways, we're going to go ahead and do something with this palette. I also have my Lorac Pro 3. This is in uh, my Pan That Palette Challenge for 2019, which is coming to an end here in a few weeks. Um, it'll be done. I will do a final, final update for this one. Um, so look out for that maybe um, January 1st, January 2nd. I'll give you guys um, the final outcome of this. But I've been really dedicated to using this all week, or all week, <laughs> all year. I've already done my contour, my bronzing, my foundation and my eyebrows already done all of that let's try to make this video pretty you know not too 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 long all right guys let's get right to it um i already have a base powder on as well i used from the Lorac pro 3 i used a blanc and a little bit of canvas sort of mix those two up and then just sort of put this all over Okay, I don't see a, a transition shade here. Nothing that I think I can use. So, like always, like always, like I've been doing for a couple of Get Ready With Me, I'm going to go ahead and go into Terracotta, which is a very much terracotta color, like a red yellowy color. I'm going to barely tap my brush with it and use that as a transition. That's what I've been doing when I don't have... Um, a transition shade. I just sort of put that uh, very lightly all over. So just like that. I feel like I need to pull you in just a little bit. Let's, let's pull you in. I think that's better. I hope that's not too, too close. <laughs> All right, so I have that on. If you hear noises, guys, my husband's downstairs and I, I think he's mopping and stuff like that. <laughs> okay, I think on this Get Ready With Me Too, I probably will use um, false lashes or something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and take from the Lorac Pro 3, I'm gonna take Cool Taupe. And I'm going to put that in the crease. So I went in the crease and then I went a little bit above it right here because my eyebrows, or my eyebrows, my um, eyelids have a, a droopiness to them. So I like to um, put it in the crease and then also just a little bit above the crease. All right, now I have a hot pot here. I think this is from, yeah, Coastal Sense Hot Pot and this one is called no, it doesn't have a name, just M05, it's green. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the crease. I'm just gonna lay down sort of foundation. And I also will bring it down into the eyelid. I was looking at the, the eye look and I really like that green from the hot pot from uh, Coastal Scents. I was thinking maybe of bringing that in all the way over here, almost like a halo effect. Try. But I'll tell you why I won't do it, because every time I've done a halo look, I feel like it hasn't come out right, you know? <laughs> so I'm going to take a little bit of the um, taupe color. I'm just going to go around 
the green to buff it out a little bit. And I'm really liking the contrast of the terracotta up here, the terracotta that I have, just because my necklace is this sort of different tones of this green and this green here, and then it has a gold chain. So I kind of like that. I kind it kind of goes with um, the look. I think. I don't know if I want to do the halo. Not sure. <laughs> I don't know if I should or just stick with um, these colors. I think I'm going to do another look because I have an, I have a plan to do. Uh, a gold look. I think with the gold look I will do a halo. I think it will be a little bit more safer because I want to do it with the shade boss from um, Simple Color. I had haul these for you guys. I always go off these tangent guys. I'm sorry, but I want to do something with this and I think I kind of have a little bit of uh, an idea of what I want to do and I think I'll do a halo with this one. So for this one, let's just keep it simple. <laughs> well, like, you know, I don't, I don't do good with Halo. I don't feel like I can, um, I don't know. I don't know if I just feel like I don't have enough lid space because of my droopy eyelids. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay. I'm going to go into, um, Miss Rainier, Rainier, Rainier. Yeah. This one right here. This one. Let's see. There you go, that one right there. I'm gonna put that on top and a little bit over. Ooh, a lot of fallout, lots. I don't put my, uh, I don't put my, uh, concealer on right now so I have time to um, get that off. Well, let's try to get some of it off now. I'm going to take this. I'm just going to make sure that I have that green color all the way to the end. Sometimes I notice when I do get ready with me videos that I don't go all the way out here. It's like I cut the color too short. So I want to make sure that I get it on the outer portion. All right. Now let's go into the Fremont green. I'm gonna use this brush here. It's a dome brush. And I really put a lot on the brush there. I'm just gonna put that all the way on the outer part. And bring it in. doesn't look as pretty as it does on here. Hmm. I feel like I feel like I'm going to need lashes with this one for sure. I do some false lashes with this look because it's very intense. I'm not putting it on the crease. I just wanted it. Actually, I'm liking that now. And then, you know, when you put the, the lashes and then you put, you know, your eyeliner and all that, it sort of brings it all together. I'm going to go in with that Miss Rainer, but I'm not going to put any more on the brush and I'm just going to buff that Fremont color with Miss Rainer right there. 
in this emerald green here it has coffee is a sort of plum color it's um yeah it's a plum color but in my Lorac Pro 3 I have a color called truffle um, and I'm gonna go ahead and use truffle this is truffle from Lorac Pro 3 and then this is the um, coffee color and it, it's almost the same this one has a little bit more shimmer as you can see this is a little bit this is definitely more matte but I'm gonna use um, truffle from the Lorac Pro 3 because again I'm trying to really use up those colors and I, I want to use this color because I want to kind of break up some of this green a little bit but I don't want to go too heavy-handed with it or I don't want to go in too much I want to start way way back here I'm actually going to bring it up on top of my crease right here just right there let me get that um, brown taupe color I feel like I need to buff out the edges here I don't I didn't put any more product Okay, now I'm going to go back into the Emerald palette. I'm gonna go into The Hill, which is a very, very, very light green um, color, shimmery color. So, and I'm gonna place that on the inner portion of my lid. I feel like I gave it a little bit of an ombre look all the way across gonna go back into Miss Rainer just gonna put a little bit more on the brush and put it right here okay now I feel like I want to get go back into the Lorac Pro I'm gonna go into taupe and what I'm gonna do is I'm really gonna contour better the inside the inner part of my eye with that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here and I'm going to bring it all the way down into that hollowness <laughs> hollowness of my eye without going in the tear duct. I don't want to go in the tear duct because I'm going to put something else there. But I definitely want to give that um, some shade so that, I don't know, I feel like the green can bounce off of that. We'll, we'll go ahead and buff, uh, buff it and blend it here in a minute. Uh, just gonna go right into that um, socket now I'm going to take the blending brush and I'm just going to make sure I don't have any hard edges with that brown taupe color There we go. Clean that edges off on the side. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put everything on my liner, my mask. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put on these lashes and I'll talk about them here in a little bit. Liner. And then before I get to my hair, I'm going to come back because I want to share with you something that I purchased and I want to show you it before I do my hair. Um, so I'll be right back. Let's talk about the eyelashes really, really quickly. These are the ones from Dollar Tree. These are the Ioni um, lashes, and these are the ones in Natural Doll. Um, I remember when I hauled these for you guys, I had told you guys that I really didn't like the band, that it was too wide, but um, these are okay. I, I like them. Here's the thing with them, though. Um, this is the second time that I've worn them, and the first time to try to get it out of the plastic, because they adhere, they're uh, self-adhesive, so when you pull it out, you know, you try to pull out the lashes. It is so stuck on there that my lashes ended up ripping. I, there's like a big chunk of lashes that is missing on this one. Um, you can't really tell only because my lashes underneath kind of um, 
camouflage that but uh, it's really hard to get these out and typically with the other ones that I purchased like the Ardell or whatever um, you can you can pull them off but these were so so hard to get off um, this one gave me a little bit of a hard time today. Anyways, they're okay. They're a dollar. They're okay. They're okay so far. You know, I'm not going to get much more use out of these. Maybe, maybe I'll get one more out of it, but that's it. What I wanted to do before we, I let you go and I talk to you guys about the hair. Um, we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of, what's it called? Light gold um, in the inner tear duct. I like this one. I like this is from the Lorac Pro 3. And I like to put that right here. Right there. And then I'm going to take that color and I'm also going to put it as my um brow bone highlight. I love the golden tone highlighters. And this is not an overbearing one. Like you can wear this for everyday look. You can definitely wear this one if you wanted to. I think so. Okay. Um, I also have that one as my highlight. My highlight um, color. I feel like I put too much blush. Let me get... Let me blend that out just a little bit. I feel like I put too much. Okay, I had ordered this Revlon Pro Collection. This is the Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. It looks like this. I just got it today, just today. Uh, I'm a little upset. I'm a little upset because I ordered it from Amazon, but it, they um, slapped the shipping label right on this box. They didn't put this in another box. They just shipped it like this with the label on here. I don't know. I really wish it would have went in another box. I would have, I don't know. I just, I don't know. We'll see if it works. Anyways, here it is. I took it out. So here it is. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try this. My daughter tried it. So there's a little bit of hair on there. My daughter already played with it. I haven't. My hair is still wet. Uh, what I wanted this for was because this heats up, okay, and I, I'm not sure how many temps it has, maybe three, let's see, cool, low, and high, and it's right here, um, and this blow dries your hair while it straighten it, straightens it. I don't think it claims it to be a flat iron by any means. Um, it just says smooths, so it volumizes your hair. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try this out right now, but what I plan to do with it is give like a whole demonstration at another time when I didn't do the get ready with me because get ready with me and then trying to give a demo on this, it, the video would be way, way, way too long. So I'm going to go ahead and um, try this out and see how it leaves my hair. Typically what I do is I blow dry my hair. I don't ever blow dry my hair when my hair is full on wet. Um, I do let it dry and... and stuff like that. Um, so what I do typically is I blow dry my hair and then I'll either do a light curl or a curl or a flat iron. So I'm trying to avoid all that for the most part in terms of the curling iron or the flat iron. And if this can just give me that smooth volumizing look, then uh, it's going to be a hit. So I'm going to go ahead and try it. This is going to be my first time and then I'll come back with my hair dried up. Okay. So this is how it shaped my hair like that. Uh, but let me first tell you guys before we talk about it. Um, I want to show you the products that I did use. By the way, this is not sponsored. Okay, guys, I purchased all of this myself. So nothing was sent to me or anything like that. But typically, anytime I get ready, do my hair, uh, I do use Kenra pro products. This is the Kenra Smoothing Blowout Lotion. Okay. Uh, and then I do use a little bit of the uh, heat spray block. Okay, I do use a little bit of this, um, typically. And that's what I used today. Here it is. It gets hot. Uh, 
it really, really does. How hot does it get? I don't know. Again, I will do a, a different video on it. I just kind of wanted to talk about it, use it for the first time, and then share with you guys my first impression, my first thought on it, because I really don't even know how hot this thing gets, but it gets pretty darn hot. Uh, and it just has two settings. It has three, but for the heat, it's just a low and a high, but the temperature is the same. It's just, it just doesn't come out as uh, as strong, but the heating is the same. And I don't see anywhere on here where you can adjust for heating. And it does get really, really hot. Not really, really hot, but it gets hot. I do like the way it left my hair. I, I do. Um, I, yeah, I liked it. Um, like if I had to just use this product and I didn't want to really curl my hair, but I really didn't want to sit there and flat iron my hair. This is like a one and done type of thing. Uh, I will tell you that it is a little heavy uh, and it is bulky. So I had to really kind of, I have to get used to it. You know what I mean? Like with the blow dryer, you're just, and then with the flat iron, with the flat iron, it's thinner. And this is a little bulky, a little heavier. And uh, so I have to get a little bit used to it. Uh, but yeah, or like maybe you just want to do the top crown of your hair really, really quickly. This would be really, really good, I think. But anyway, I'll do a different uh, separate video and I'll do a demonstration. If you guys would like, let me know. I can definitely do that for you guys. Uh, but that's it, guys. This is my look. I'll bring you guys in a little closer. Okay, there you go. Okay, so there it is, guys. There is my look, my Christmas look. I'll do another one with you with you guys. Uh, we'll do some gold colors because I really want to use that simple color, um, little single eyeshadow, and I want to do more of a halo kind of a look for you guys. All right, my friends, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, yeah, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful December so far and enjoying the holiday season. All right, my friends, I will see you guys very, very soon. All right, bye.